South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa has formed a panel to investigate the allegations made by the United States regarding a Russian ship collecting weapons from a naval base near Cape Town last year, according to a statement released by the presidency on Sunday. On May 11th, the U.S. ambassador to South Africa, Ruben Brigidi, expressed confidence that a Russian ship had taken on weapons from South Africa during its visit to a naval base in Simonstown, Western Cape, in December of the previous year. South Africa has denied these allegations. The allegations have sparked a diplomatic dispute among the United States, South Africa, and Russia, raising concerns about South Africa's neutral stance in the Ukraine conflict. South Africa maintains its impartiality and has abstained from voting on UN resolutions related to the war. The decision to launch an investigation was motivated by the seriousness of the allegations, the public interest surrounding the issue, and the impact it may have on South Africa's international relations, as stated in the official statement. The panel, consisting of three members, will be led by Phineas Mojapolo, the former deputy judge president of Gauteng province. The other two members are advocate Leah Kabash, who previously served as the evidence leader for a state corruption inquiry that concluded last year, and Enver Surti, the former deputy minister of basic education. The investigation is expected to be completed within six weeks. The panel's mandate includes determining who had knowledge of the cargo ship's arrival, as well as the nature of the cargo that was loaded and unloaded. It will also investigate whether any constitutional, legal, or other obligations were met in relation to the ship's arrival. Upon the conclusion of the investigation, the panel will present its final report to the president within two weeks. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa responded to parliamentary questions in Cape Town. The president's decision to establish an inquiry was prompted by the seriousness of the allegations, the significant public interest surrounding the matter, and the potential impact on South Africa's international relations. Phineas Mojapolo, the former deputy judge president of Gauteng province, will chair the three-member panel tasked with the investigation. Advocate Leah Kabash, who served as the evidence leader for a state corruption inquiry that concluded last year, and Enver Surti, the former deputy minister of basic education, complete the panel. The panel will have a six-week period to carry out its investigation. The investigation will aim to establish who was aware of the cargo ship's arrival, determine the contents that were loaded and offloaded, and assess whether constitutional, legal, or other obligations were fulfilled regarding the ship's arrival.